right, hi and welcome back to the Mauro Brothers. Today we have a fantastic property for you thanks to the co-exclusive Listers, Casas, Fintech and Sol Villa. It's a beauty of a home, just short of 10 million. Well, maybe not just short, 9,575,000 euros is the asking price of this architectural beauty. We'll come to all that later. Let's start the property tour with what we see here. First and foremost, covered carport right there the cantilever roof and exposed cantilever roofs in this house are absolutely insane. We'll explain more of that later once we are outside. But this is where you enter. You also have a door that leads to the kitchen and a door that leads to a changing sort of room. Well, actually, other way around. The other way around, exactly. That's the one that leads to the kitchen. That's the one that leads to a second entry. We're gonna be explaining everything. Now let's put focus on this absolutely insane and super high entry door leading right into the heart of the house. We have picture windows, picture framed windows here and the door that leads in. Let's begin, come on. Let alone this pivoting massive door entering into the home is already signaling what dimensions we're going to have in this absolute banger of a home. Just short of 980 square meters of interior built. Super nice how you're instantly greeted with this entire wall of greenery, glass and marble structures. Now guys, you've seen it in the detail shots. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a thumbs up, really helps us. And of course, share this video with a friend or if you're interested in buying it, contact details in the description box. Now that's enough of the pitch. Let's start off with this door, which leads famously, ladies and gentlemen, to the guest toilet. Yes, we're starting a 10 million property tour with the guest toilet. Why not? Because it is a fancy guest toilet. What do you right. think about this vanity, I Patrick? I think I should step a little bit further so the light goes on. Hello, light. No buttons, nothing? No buttons, nothing. Oh. How come it didn't go on? Okay, technical issues here. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Okay, technical we have buttons. light now. Just wanted to point out this solid one thing vanity here. Patrick loved it, he pointed out immediately. Also like the mirror behind it. It really yeah. reaches from nearly the bottom to the top. Yeah, and Great we have size. wood cladding, we'll explain that later, pocketing doors into the toilet. And what's really interesting, these pocketing doors, which will be featured along the entire tour, are ones also with a soft yeah, close. Maybe not here. Maybe not here, but remember, soft closing, pocketing doors. This is the entry to a little room, which is your welcoming room if you park your car right there underneath the carport. You can come in here, cupboards to, you know, put your jackets out. Super, super good if you have a dog, by and, the way. Yeah, and it gets wet. Yeah, so you can dry it in, in there and you don't drag all the dirt. Straight. In the rain, which never happens here. We are in Marbella. Best climate, I have to say, right? It was raining. All right, let's check out the living room. Come on. Wow. So guys, this is probably the most captivating living room I've ever been in in the entire history of the Maurer Brothers property tours or in my ex-profession as a real estate agent. Yes, why do I say ex? Patrick and I are now focusing solely, actually since a couple of months, six months, on showing you the most desirable and dream-worthy homes, not only here in Marbella, but everywhere. But now we're here, so what do we see? An immense ceiling height. We have four meters 90. It's captivating, it's super airy. The wood cladding on the ceiling is fantastic and fuses super well with so many other wooden elements in this home. What really gets me excited, as the Maro gang might already know, is a natural fire right here with a big chimney that leads up and to cover it up, we've got this natural stone which also illuminates Is it on a stone? Night. I think it is, but I don't want to say anything wrong but it is super impressive and I'm sure you get to see the night shots, how this just lights up, it's dreamy, but yeah, wow. And you have these Saturn looking, like the planet Saturn, lamps here dangling down just to give you a feeling I of think depth. more like Jupiter, Dominic. Yeah, okay, Jupiter, sorry, Jupiter. And what's really cool, this entire window front that also stretches all the way to the kitchen. You'll see that opens up fully with the press of a button. Rainers, windows, all automated, fantastic. This we, would be- We did have to close them due to uh, a little bit of a gusty wind. It came out um, of nowhere. 
Yeah, so. The prognosis was good wind. That's probably why we're also a bit short on drone shots. But hey, guys, don't complain. The interior is insane. This is your second sort of informal living room area with a coffee table. And right here, we merge into the kitchen dining area. Once again, the same ceiling height is kept and dining table with this really awesome chandelier constellation, which once again looks like planets fusing with mother nature. I love it, very clever. And adjacent to that, we have the open plan kitchen. We have a big kitchen island with Miele induction. The extractor is one that's inverted, so nothing obstructs the view. A fusion with the kitchen island and the bar breakfast table is also a really nice idea. And of course, further away from that, a lot of covered spaces. Miele appliances, and yeah, just look at the dimensions. It's absolutely bonkers. Two fridges, one here. Massive, Miele, super good quality, by the way. And a second one here. Oh no, no further, the last uh, one. There. Second one here. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably your freezer, and just cupboard spaces are humongous. And right there is a dirty kitchen. Let's have a look. And, and this, uh, before you go, this is actually the door from the carport. Exactly. Which we have explained before. The one where I made a, exactly. The one where yeah. I was like, this one needs to, anyways. This is your kitchen. Check it out. Love the stainless polished steel countertops. Also backsplash onto the wall. Another Miele induction oven space to store all kinds of goods, sink, and an access point out to the swimming pool garden or even to the two bedrooms in the basement, because this house has six bedrooms, four on this level, two in the basement. And one of them is a potential staff uh, bedroom. Yeah, Because possibly. it's a little bit bigger in size, has a sofa in there, so the staff can actually come from outside into the kitchen or to the garden to help you out exactly. if you need it. And if I'm not mistaken, it has already the pre-installation for a kitchenette. Cool, let's continue. When we're here, once again, you get this sense of openness and airiness. This home is huge. Frameless windows as well that slide fully open. The merge between indoor and outdoor is insane in this house. And I love how the wooden planks here on the floor merge with so many other wooden elements in the house, like this entire plastering on the wall as well, which fuses with the cladding of wood above. And yeah. Look at this, this is the hallway. It's humongous. I, I can jump pretty high, but this is four meters 90, to be quite honest. I thought it's more like six meters. Feels like it's triple my height. Anyways, let's continue this way, guys, come on. Ta-da, back in the living room. Down this corridor, which illuminates, wait. We have the four bedrooms I mentioned that are housed on this floor. Also a pocketing door, maybe here we can show how it even has a soft close. Wait for it. Sweet. And, and it really this. nicely merges with the wall. Yeah, kind of forget that this section of the entire house exists once this pocketing door is closed. Epic. The entire furniture package in this house, by the way, is done by Alto, and it's worth around 600,000 euros. And if you buy this home, you can exchange certain elements. And now, guys, I just wanted to point this out. Dimensions, I truly hope that the camera and you get to see what I mean when I speak about the captivity of the entire rooms and spaces we have here. For instance, this picture frame window here, exposing the patio where you have a nice tree growing, is massive. This is, I know, good two and a half, maybe three meters by three meters high, a follow-up picture window above. Not only does it expose the natural beauty, but brings natural light in. Fascinating. And yeah, what else, Patrick? You wanna say something? <laughs> Patrick's looking at me. All right, guys. Let's look at the bedrooms, come on. Right, before you enter into the bedroom zone, you also have further cupboards to store your things. Very clever how it's been designed to be livable in this house. And yeah, four bedrooms here. Let's have a look at all the bedrooms that are found here, all super styled out. Bedroom number one, let's go. 
what I truly love is this botanic wall that you're looking out to. All right, this bedroom is maybe one that isn't facing out to the sea, but to look at the different fusion of natural colors onto this organic wall is also fantastic. Floor to ceiling, big windows, natural light coming in, and as you can also see, a lot of interior design details here. Got your own little elevated terrace section here, which with a can levered exposed concrete roof to give you the shadow. I'll explain a little bit about that later. And every bedroom here is en suite. This one with a one sink natural stone vanity, Villaroch and Boch sinks. Taps are from Antonio Lupi and the shower hardware is from Axon. So they didn't spare a penny when it comes to quality. Should we have a look inside or in the other no, one? The other one, let's go. Other one, perfect. This one also has a little terrace in case you wanna step out after you showered. Bedroom number two, let's go. All right, this one, a little passageway, cupboard spaces, just a quick glance inside, humongous, even the door frame is already big, track lighting right above, and this illuminated bedroom, following the same style and interior design as the one we have seen. This is a corner window frame, also opens and pockets completely, so that on days you can just open it up, enjoy, the fusion between indoor and outdoor. You have a continuation of the cladding of wooden panels, which are, sim sim which are similar to the ones we have seen in the big living room area. Now, bedroom number three, Patrick, or should we step outside and just put focus on that wall one quick let's, time? Let's go further. Let's, oh, go. let's go further, okay. Bathroom? No walls, no walls. Bathroom real quick? Bathroom real quick. Bathroom's pretty, let's have a look. This one is a two-sink floating vanity setup. Same hardware continues here, same style and design. Love how every bathroom also has a door you can open up to air it, toilet, rain shower, and wooden cladding on the ceiling as well in the bathrooms. Pretty exciting, pocketing doors, fantastic. Now, bedroom number three, let's go. It's this one. Also, nice paneled and wood kind of Forget that the bedrooms, exciting, let's go. Right, this is the last bedroom we're gonna be looking at before we see the main bedroom. I think the size is the same. Again, the ceiling height is super, oh, it must be two meters 50 at least. Wallpaper continuation, black panels to create distinction, uh, bad frame, interior design is flawless, cupboard spaces, everything you need, wooden floor panels as well to give you that extra warmth and windows which are frameless except of that one little frame in the middle. Otherwise you get so much light in here. Beautiful, let's have a quick look into the ensuite bathroom. Let's go. It is one that houses a bathtub. And Patrick, you like bathtub. to, don't you? Not really, no. What? Patrick, be yeah. honest to our audience. Yeah, I, I do actually not like to bath. I think it's a waste of water. That's a valid point. Let's move on from that. One sink vanity, continuation of the natural stone. If I'm not mistaken, this is Pangea marble or natural stone. I'll verify that in the description box. One sink vanity, toilet, perfect. And maybe this kind of, uh, what would you call this? This is- Plastering? Yeah, but concrete slab. Micro cement? Yes, thank you. Like micro cemented slab. Cool, now to the main bedroom of this house. Let's go. Doors have hidden hinges, qualitative and soft close. Big fan. Now, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, main bedroom. Let's explore it together. All right, main bedroom. Entry for you, little passageway. Your console floating to put your stuff in. Big mirror setup. Another here, false kind of beam structure in black. It's just a very creative way of fusion here. And yeah, wallpaper, oh, I love it. Now this is pocketing door number seven, maybe, and it leads to an awesome walk-in closet plus bathroom, voila. Now I would say this gives you plenty full of space to store, hang your goodies for him or her. It's two-sided, whatever floats your boat, you can put it here. Also another setup here for your socks, maybe your jewelry, and of course, the shower area. And yes, for those who say, what if you bath or shower and there's humidity? Well, you have a pocketing door, 
that you can simply close. Voila. Nice two sink vanity here with a drawer set up right underneath. Let's just give it an, an inspection. Perfect. Kind of missing in some of the homes we've toured. This is where you would put your toothpaste, your hair gel or anything you don't wanna have lying around here because this is beautiful. Antonio Lupi hardware, sink, natural stone, a big mirror, recessed lighting illuminating it entirely. And of course, moving on from that, kind of a little bit closer, the shower. This time we're gonna be walking in together because here we get to see once again this sort of micro cemented look in or on the walls. It's a bit of an echo. And of course also the wooden cladding on the ceiling, which is fantastic. Axor hardware in the showers, very good quality. Toilet bidet and what cannot be missing is a bathtub. Fantastic. And windows that pocket open and you also have a terrace area to enjoy. But now let's look at the main bedroom because we haven't yet done it. So hold your horses, let's do that. But before we do, whoever is new, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dominic, that's my brother Patrick. We're the Mara brothers and we tour homes for you. Patrick, say a word of graciousness. It is hot. Now check out this main bedroom. As I said, this entire window front, the corner front here, opens up fully, pockets into the wall. Furthermore, this open shelving setup, very interesting. Natural stone steps here with a fire gas fire, if I'm not mistaken. Plenty full of room as well to put yourself a big TV if that's something you like to do in your bedroom. But generally speaking, fantastic. And you see a bit more of the wooden panels, a continuation of the style we've seen all around the home so far. Wow, I think I'm, I feel like I'm racing this house, but just because I'm really excited, big fan of it, great architect behind all this work. Diego Tobal, we'll explain that later when we're outside. Now, let's continue, no? Let's go. Come on, Downstairs. Vamos. All right, we've seen four bedrooms, en suite. We've seen a humongous living room area. We've seen the kitchen dining area, dirty kitchen. Guest toilet, yes, not to forget. Now it's time to have a look at the basement. But once again, just understand the size I'm talking about is humongous. This entire house, if I were to describe it in one word, it's opulent, huge. Gigantic, maybe I'm using three words. All right, let's go down, come on. Very good luminosity in this house, luminosity. Now, you also get to see that's the staircase I just took down, glamorous. Here we enter into the basement area. This entire space has been left open for you to create whatever you want. I would definitely put a gigantic cinema room, cinema room here. Open, I like it. And yes, two for the bedrooms here. Let's start off with the boring stuff. Patrick, laundry room. Yeah? That's not boring, it's actually so let's exclusive. Go. Let's go, let's go. I mean, who has a laundry room at home? Me? I don't. <laughs> Your bedroom's not a laundry room. Right, check this out. Laundry room, clean, white, Miele appliances, cupboard spaces, perfect. Even got the laundry kind of recess lighting, which is super illuminating. Fantastic continuation of hidden hinges and soft clothes. And this entire paneling here kind of looks like it's one solid piece, but there are various doors leading into various places like this. Let's walk in together. Just a toilet, one sink vanity. Nicely illuminated, everything you need to do your business. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, bedroom number five and bedroom number six, we start with this one the livable sleeping area there. But before we get there, let's have a quick look into this bathroom. Super elegant, one thing, vanity, nice natural stone, Pangea stone on the flooring. I verified that. And yeah, here you get a very good view on the wooden cladding on the ceiling, which is just a continuation of cladding the wooden. Cladding or paneling? It's paneling, cladding. It's wooden clad. Yes, it's both. Whatever floats your boat, dude. Pocketing doors. Cool, and this would be bedroom number five. Big in space, natural light coming in from the windows, passageway also up to the swimming pool or kitchen, as I explained before. Little 
makeup bar there and of course a nice console here installed for your television setup. Everything you need is here and again the continuation of the design is throughout and I'm super happy that they didn't spare a penny when it comes to that. Now let's have a, now let's have a look at bedroom number six. Let's go. That's what I mean with soft clothes. Now, bedroom number six, last one we get to see, let's go. I would even say that this bedroom might be slightly larger than bedroom number five. This entire wall here is cupboard spaces, natural light coming in from the sliding doors here, crystal looking out onto that botanic fake wall with real, uh, actual real vegetation, which is pretty cool, staircase leading up to the kitchen, fantastic. Even a little couch area to come and chill. And as Patrick said before, so maybe you want to turn it around, you said this might be a room for your service, which is smart because it also has, yeah, your staff service, pre-installed system for your kitchenette. Remember, this home has just been built. So it's new on the market. There's still fine little details that are going to change. And here we have the bathroom. So every bedroom has an ensuite bathroom, two sink vanity, continuation of the same style, second little drawer down there to put your towels. Maybe a drawer setup here is missing like in the main bedroom, but that can be installed, no biggie. Shower, shower head, axor, hardware. All the same like the others. The, yeah, exactly. Now, soft close again. We get to see the pool table, another lounge area and bar area that we're gonna be discovering now, so let's go. Cool, should we do this traditional? Nah. Let's hit a ball in and you subscribe. It's a completely new house. I would feel bad to be the first to break the balls here. You know what, that, that's very kind of you. I think it should be left for the owner. Yeah, for the new, new owner. owner. Correct. This is your wet bar, right? Bring in your friends, enjoy a nice cocktail. You've even Seems got some... quite dry for me. <laughs> Patrick, it's just called a wet bar. I don't know why. Maybe because you serve wet drinks. But yeah, cupboard spaces, you put a wet fridge here. Wet drinks. Continuation. Serve wet drinks. Yeah, so they're not dry drinks. Although if you get a dry martini, it's confusing. Never mind. Wooden paneling continuation, as I said before, the stone looks Is it stone? splashed here as well. I don't think so. Yeah, that's the same I thought. I but therefore, I think so. The wallpaper over there is quite neat. Oh yeah. It is if you get a little bit closer, fantastic. who sees the lion? Not a lion, the puma. There is a texture here. It stands out for those organoleptic people. This is a dream. Stroke the furry wall. Does anyone know that movie? Oh, she's furry as well. <laughs> yeah. Where's the puma here? I see it, it's right there. Yeah, there are a few hidden. Wow. Super cool wallpaper. Would be actually a pity to cover that with a TV setup or something like that. Anyways, let's continue. We have a little sports section here. Make anything you want into a gym, yoga sessions, as it is planned to be used right now. Or go in there for your hammam and spa. Well, not hammam and sauna. Let's look. Sauna set up to the left. I just love how sauna smell. And of course, a hammam as well, right here. Open plan shower area. We'll be showering here. Super. Guys, that was it for the basement. Now I say we hop back upstairs and we meet outside to show you the pool and garden area. So let's go. Yeah, I love how they use so much wood and natural colors in the entire interior design, just creating such warmth, beautiful. And now smash that like button if you enjoyed today's property tour, because we're doing it just for you. Yeah. Now, how to area, what's up? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Patrick's looking at me like I've made the biggest mistake and maybe I did. Like and subscribe, guys if you enjoy this tour and to be notified for upcoming events like us traveling and showing you really cool homes elsewhere. Now this covered terrace area is your lounge area. Further on you have your benchmate dinner table which is just adjacent to the kitchen and this entire covered ceiling 
is the cantilevered exposed roof. And that's what Diego Tobal is known for, to make these insane looking homes and cantilever exposed ceiling roofs, which just hang there. And they're made completely out of concrete. And you have these black beams here that hold it all together. I'm not an architect, I don't know how to explain it, but somewhere I heard that it's used similarly in the building of bridges to divert the load. load. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. Like here, the paneling look continues. They've left a gap here for the tree to grow out. Really cool fusion of mother nature and this heavy yet super light looking architectural structure of the home. And I love it. And maybe if Patrick moves a little bit further and you get a good scope of the home, you'll see what I mean with this cantilevered uh, roof that just pops out and floats. And there is nothing really holding it together. For those who don't know, but then you do have the black pillars that stabilize it. Needless to say, this home is epic. 9,575,000 euros is its asking price. We are in a gated exclusive community in La Quinta. And this community of 15 homes will be also gated and closed. So you're in a gated, gated community, if that makes sense. Now we also have an elevated pool. Very nice with this greenish tiling, a elevated decking for your sunbeds. And yeah, this stealth and super timeless looking home in all its glory, we have shown it to you, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, if you're interested in buying it, it's one of the few amazing homes left in Marbella because everyone wants to be here. Now guys, ah, it's time to say goodbye, right Patrick? Yes. Goodbye guys, thank you for tuning in. And yeah, thank you to Casas Fintech and Solvilla, the co-exclusive agents to allow us to tour this baby today. Voila. Patrick, last words to you? Let's show the viewers also how beautiful. So those are your you last words. Perfect. Here. Ooh, Dominic. What okay. you might... Oh. I will just tell it. Look there. See. And this is what I call sea view. Not just a little gap in between trees. The whole thing. You you I saw mean, Africa in the morning. Please mention that. We saw that. Africa, Africa. And the tip of Gibraltar is to be seen. I mean, wow. Pretty it cool. Awesome, not me. So who, who takes who takes the dip? I do, but off camera. Off camera. Switch it off. So guys, Come on. Thank you very enjoy. much again. <laughs> and uh, whoops, there. Uh, have a beautiful one. Peace.